Yep, still saying it over and over again, just to get it over in my head that this is really happening. For those of you who might have just joined this journey, um, this is halfway through the first week of me flying my 458 Speciali to Dubai. Now, in normal situations, supercars normally get double takes because, you know, in, in England, it's quite a rare sight to see a supercar on the road. In Dubai, they are everywhere. However, there's a one major difference with this car compared to every other supercar that is in Dubai right now, and that is the fact that it is right-hand drive. So people look and then they double take, and they're like, what is that doing here? Um, yeah, and I've had people, I've had English expats coming over to me saying how lovely it is to see an English number plate over here. Guys who haven't left the UAE for several years and it's reminded them of home. So, it, so far, the induction to Dubai has been a beautiful one. We've had road trips, I've had a track day, it's been amazing. Today is another adventure. I'm joining SCA, Supercar Club of Arabia, on another trip in Dubai to sample the supercar culture and the wider lifestyle that is the car scene in Dubai. And we are on our way to a location called Bab Al Shams. I've heard of it, but I've never been. But apparently it's a sort of luxury resort out in the desert, which I am all for. So yeah, we're heading to the meeting point now, which is at Oasis Mall. And then we're gonna get in yet another Splendid convoy and uh, yeah, adventure time in the desert. this pretty quick. I'm in the middle of a traffic island trying to show you the lineup of cars we've got it's underneath the monorail flyover. Um, once again, I mean, if you watched the video yesterday, you'll know that supercar convoys here are taken to an entirely different level. Um, yeah, but I'm going to have to make this quick because everyone's jumped in their cars. We are, however, uh, conveniently parked alongside possibly one of the busiest roads in Dubai, so getting out will be tricky. Compared to yesterday, though, there's a few more hypercars. I'm not sure if they're joining, joining us or not, but they'll be in the, the music montage right now. arrived at Bab Al Shams Resort. When I say it's in the desert, I mean we are in the desert. But what's really magical is there's this single path working its way through various plants and the few foliage and trees which is here. It guides you through but still cuts through just pure sand and we're on our way to a destination that's sort of enticing you on because it keeps leading you through the desert. So super excited to get there. experience eating basically in the middle of the desert. Now I've been here for around about a week now, well, five days. Uh, one thing that has been consistently awesome is the hospitality and the food. It's like relentlessly good taste times. Now then, we're back amongst another phenomenal super and hypercar car park. So let's just take a look at some of the highlight cars which are here. Um, conveniently, there are also a few cars which joined us on the run yesterday to Jebel J. So, let's take a look at another 918 Spider. We were also joined as well, although I'm not sure he's still here, uh, by the Guards Red 918 that joined us yesterday. Anyway, this PTS 
GT3 RS. I'm not sure of the name of the colour. Uh, it's a real coincidence because I've been following the Instagram account of this guy for quite a long time and I've always wondered how it would look in, in real life because on photographs it looks incredible. I gotta tell you, in real life it looks even better. It's a fantastic spec. Moving down the line, this is basically the hypercar lineup. So, 918 Spider, P1, Enzo, SV Roadster, and SV in the magnificent blue. Looking, fa looking fabulous. As you can see, we're here with Supercars Club of Arabia. These guys are putting on a pretty substantial show right now. Do you know what? It's surprising me. I haven't seen many speciali since I've been out here. This one is my friend Nick. But that one I actually know, but the new ones, I honestly haven't seen that many. Not that it matters, because there's lots of other things to feast your eyes on, but it's nice to be able to sort of contribute to the scene, not only by bringing a British speciali down here, but adding a speciali to the mix at all. It's really cool. I've just been having a chat with some of the guys here, some of the supercar owners. They were like, you've come at the perfect time, because it's our winter and it's only like 30 degrees. It's like 30 degrees! They're like, yeah, summertime, it's too hot to even run the cars. It gets to over 50 degrees and everyone parks their cars because they literally die. Isn't that ridiculous? So yeah, wintertime uh, here is as hot as our very best summer. Good time to come. to a new development on the coastline of Dubai called Le Mer. Uh, it's very Californian in influence. Uh, it's basically a sort of long boardwalk along the coast of Dubai. 
and we've been given permission by the government to park our cars in central La Mer. So it'll be interesting. It looks like we're one of the first. In fact, we're definitely the first people here because we've just been let in and there's no one else here. <laughs> so yeah, the, the weird thing is this whole place is full of foliage and like a sort of urban park layout. Really not the best for parking cars along, but let's see. Let's rock up and see how everyone else uh, arranges cars once they get here. have arranged the most amazing location to conclude the day for a central boardwalk of La Mer. How you doing, Daddy? All good? I'm this good, is immense, man. right? This is absolutely Crazy. awesome. This is it's next magical. Level. It's Actually, next level. It is truly next level. Just look at it. The whole thing is like stars are falling from the sky down this boardwalk and the cars, I mean, there's like a small percentage of cars which have turned up now. I mean, it's packed full of people. We've just had to navigate our way all the way down here. There's a small group of us right now, but all the way down here shortly is gonna be lined with cars. So I'm gonna wait until they all turn up and I give you guys the full walk down before concluding the day. That is it for a very special evening here. Massive, massive thank you to Supercars Club of Arabia for arranging such a magnificent day. Listen, if you're ever in Dubai, make sure, jump in a taxi and come to this area called La Mer. It is beautiful, it is fabulous, awesome for the family, great food, and it's right on the beach. Right, now then, back to the speciali. As always guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.